Thank you. We're taking a closer look at the federal judge who is presiding over this redistricting case here in Jacksonville. She is U.S. District Court Judge Marcia Morales Howard. News for Jacks reporter Brittany Jones looked into her background and previous cases she's handled. Brittany, you found Judge Howard has experience with big cases like this. Yes, Tom, she has spent a lot of time here at the federal courthouse. And I spoke to one attorney here today who says she's well known for her not no nonsense approach, rather, and that she's always fair. And she would have no problem presiding over this case for the redistricting maps. A distinguished judge with more than 30 years of law experience, Judge Marcia Morales Howard has the fate of more than 650,000 Jacksonville voters and about a million residents in her hands. She's been very methodical about it, which is her style. She's, she's a very detailed and organized judge. Attorney Curtis Fallgatter is a former federal prosecutor. He tells me he's worked with Judge Howard on about 20 cases or so over the years. Right now, she's tasked with making sure voters, particularly black voters, get a fair shot at representation across the community. This says the city is trying to get redistricting maps approved and ready to go by December 16th. If you don't have a neutral uh, judge like a federal judge that can step in and help those folks make sure they do it correctly so that the voters are getting a fair shake on the redistricting, then uh, politics is going to rule the country and voters will not get their representation. Fallgatter says Howard is a judge who's always prepared and thorough. She has a bachelor's of science degree from Vanderbilt University and is a graduate of University of Florida's Levin College of Law. She started a professional legal career back in 1990, spending 13 years in private practice. In 2003, Howard became a U.S. magistrate judge and four years later, she was appointed by President George W. Bush to serve in her current lifetime role as U.S. District Court Judge for the Middle District of Florida. Uh, the beauty of the federal system is a lifetime appointment. She can do the right thing and that's what she's doing and she's holding people's feet to the fire to make sure they get it done. Some other cases you may remember from Judge Howard's docket, Katrina and Reggie Brown faced her for sentencing after the two were convicted on federal charges of conspiracy, fraud, and money laundering. And in another notable case, a 22-year-old Jacksonville man was sentenced to more than 12 years in federal prison for sex trafficking a child. But her duties go beyond how you traditionally see her in the courtroom. As the daughter of immigrants, she's welcomed more than 500 new American citizens at their naturalization ceremonies. Judge Howard was also honored this year as the recipient of the 2022 Distinguished Federal Judicial Service Award. And as you can hear, that judge has been very busy. She's committed more than 200 hours of community service and pro bono work in this community and also encouraging students who are in civil, civil services as well. And she will be making sure that that deadline is hit with those redistricting maps by Election Day. Reporting live downtown, Brittany Jones, Channel 4, The Local Station.